Good morning, everybody. Mark Finan here in the Home Weather Office on this Tuesday morning. It is the 17th day of October 2023. This is the morning briefing coming to you from my home weather office. And as I look out the window of the home weather office, man, there's not a cloud to be found. It's a beautiful day. A nice cool morning to what's going to turn into be a beautiful afternoon. And the trend over the next few days will be a warming trend with temperatures in the valley eventually getting up to around 90 degrees later on this week. Pretty warm for this time of year, but these will be the last time. This will be the last time we flirt with 90 degrees this year. We'll have to wait until April or May next year to do this again. So if you like 90 degree days, enjoy it while we have it. Let me show you what's happening this morning. Again, mainly clear skies up and down the state. The marine layer returning to the immediate coast. A couple of high clouds going by to the north. Also quite a bit of fog in some of the valleys up to the north where they've had a lot of rain. Also down in here, still a fair amount of smoke. The quarry fire continues to burn. It's about 7,200 acres now. It's, uh, it's one of those fires that the, the Forest Service is kind of managing. They're burning off areas because it's in a, a relatively rural area up south of Highway 108. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it continues to put up smoke. And I think that's the most annoying thing here. It's not threatening any communities, but it continues to put up smoke. And I think that's going to be, uh, it'll clear out as we go through the day. But for those of you in parts of uh, Calaveras and Tuolumne counties that wake up to a little bit of smoke, that is why. So we're talking about a, a warming trend. So let me show you what we're looking at temperature wise here. This is the ensemble members of the GFS for Sacramento. And I like to go off the mean. The mean here is uh, 84 for today, but some of the models are as high as 87. And then tomorrow, also in the mid 80s, the mean is 86, but some of the models are as high as 88. So uh, between today and tomorrow, similar temperatures. Then the warmest day is Thursday, with the mean being around 90, but some of the models as high as 92. One of the models as low as 80. I think that's an outlier, obviously. So yeah, we, we should be up around 90. We still think Thursday is going to be the warmest day. And if you look at the day on Friday, even if you throw out this member, E6, uh, the range of the other models go from 83 to 91. I think Friday is going to be a tricky day to forecast. We're looking for a high around 87 or 88, I think. And then Saturday, much cooler. The mean is at 74. Some of the models as high as 84. But even if you look at the warmest model going from 91 to 84, that's the cool down we're expecting on the day on, um, on Saturday. And we'll continue that into the day on Sunday. So let me show you why. So let's take a look at our 500 millibar chart. This is the 6Z run. Won't be too much longer before we, I can actually show you the 12Z run, but this is the 6Z run. And as we go through the next couple of days, this big ridge builds in. This is Wednesday. And then this is during the day on Thursday. That ridge just in a classic position to give us warm weather. This is an interesting feature down in here, the southeasterly flow. This is, uh, if this was August, we'd be looking at in a monsoon flow, but this flow still may drag some high clouds our way, and especially into the day on Friday. This is Friday. We begin the cool down, and then we get into the weekend, and it's this low in here that will begin to bring some cooling. Now, as this goes by on Sunday, Sunday afternoon, there is the chance of some showers in the uh, northeastern corner of the state, Lassen County, and maybe even as far south as Plumas County. I'll show you another model here on that in a second. But for the rest of us, it'll just turn cooler during the day on Sunday. The, um, the Ironman Triathlon is going on in Sacramento on Sunday, and uh, it should be a pretty comfortable day for, for that. And then as that goes by, we get another cutoff low with a, a high building in. There's been a lot of discrepancy about what may happen next week. And so this model for next Wednesday has a ridge. There have been other models that have actually brought in chances of rain, uh, but that's not what this run is showing. But that's all about next week, and we'll see what happens with that. Now, regarding that chance of some showers during the day on Sunday, let me show you what the model is showing. And this is Thursday. Actually, I might have to change this, go back to here. This is Thursday, Friday, and as this little wave goes by on, this is Sunday afternoon. This is around five o'clock. There may be some showers in Plumas County, um, not very much. And then 
maybe some showers lasting into early Monday. That's it's just one of those things that for those of you in Plumas County, especially um, and Lassen County, we'll see what happens. It doesn't look like it'd be very much, but uh, that would be a chance of precipitation for the mountains come on come Sunday afternoon and maybe into the evening. But that's still a ways out. We'll deal with that over the next couple of days. But in the meantime, the major trend for the next few days is sunny and warm. If you like it that way, get out and enjoy. Like I said, this isn't going to last too much longer. We are just about to turn the corner and get into our cooler and wetter season. That's everything I've got for you this morning. I will be in the uh, in the at the TV station this afternoon to do the news at four, five, six, seven, ten, and eleven. And because it's a Tuesday, I'll be on Facebook tonight at eight o'clock to answer any of your weather questions. Have a great day. I'll talk with you later.